Hi everyone, I'm Mark Johnson. I'm below the peak of Mount Coonaran in the Glasshouse Mountains of Australia because this episode I'll be showing you some mountain photography. I've got uh, mountain photographs from the mainland USA, from Australia, from New Zealand, from Alaska, Hawaii, uh, other places around the world because I just love taking photographs of mountains. Even though my primary subject is the beaches and coasts, if you are a fan of my work you'll probably know that, but I also love taking mountains too. So let's go climb some mountains, shall we? The first stop on our mountain photography journey is Alaska. I'm lucky enough to have relatives in Alaska, so I get to go there quite a bit and uh, fly around sometimes, like this nice aerial photograph of Mount Edgecombe and this one of Mount Anahuts, both near Sitka, Alaska and Southeast Alaska. And as we go along and, and uh, look at these mountains, I want you to notice that most of these shots were taken either early in the day or late in the day. And what these long shadows of early and late in the day do for your photos is just increase the drama and majesty of these peaks. This is Mount Coonaran, which you saw in the introduction with the full moon setting behind it early in the morning. And uh, then we move to Kauai in Hawaii. And this is uh, the Kalalea Mountains with their striking outline. And I used a long lens to make these uh, coconut trees look like they're really close to the mountain, but they're actually quite far away. And this is on Kauai as well. This is the famous Nepali coast. This is an aerial shot of Ke'e Beach with its beautiful lagoon. And then the cliffs of the Nepali coast stretching off into the distance. This is taken in the late afternoon. You'll see the sun there on the side. Now Mount Narahoi in New Zealand. I was on the Tongariro track in uh, the North Island of New Zealand and got that very early morning beautiful orangey light on the peak. And then we move on to Oahu in Hawaii. That's the uh, Ko'ola Mountains in the background. I climbed Mount Olamana in the pitch dark so I could be there right as the sun rose and got that beautiful lighting on the mountain peaks. And this is uh, also on Oahu. Again, I woke up very early in the morning and I was at Kualoa right when a rain squall came as the sun was rising and gave us that beautiful double rainbow. And uh, I urge you to get up early if you really want to get striking mountain photography, like this one of the Ko'ola Mountains on Oahu. You can see how it just hits the, the cliffs from the side there and just adds drama, whereas if midday it wouldn't look like much really. I mean, it'd still be beautiful, don't get me wrong. Here's the late afternoon shot at Mount Rainier National Park. You'll see these sunrise, sun rays coming through the uh, little bit of the mist that we had there. Uh, Mount Rainier, by the way, is another spot you should put on your list. Here it is again. Uh, also check weather conditions too, because it rains a lot in the Pacific Northwest, but then you do get beautiful days like this. So if it's rainy one day, don't give up maybe get up early the next day and hope for the best. And uh, finally, again, Mount Rainier, uh, my sister-in-law posing there for me on a beautiful day in Mount Rainier National Park. Again, late, or that was early actually. So here we go, here's the link. If you wanna look at all these photos again at your leisure in this gallery, just click on that link right there. And thank you very much, until next time, aloha.